What is up guys, Catastrophic here, and today, this is a video for my, you know, it's just talking about the, this year, it's a yearly review, which I just finished recording this video, you know, live with a webcam, you know, it was all face cam, and it was a half hour of me talking about the channel, and how I got to where I am now, and views, you know, goes from here, but it, you know, as soon as I was finished, the camera completely failed, and now it's not working, so, so yeah, I'm a little down about that, but I'm redoing this, it's going to be a more condensed video of what I was saying in that, so, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be very condensed. <laughs> because I really do have other things that I need to do for the channel today. So, anywho, let's jump into it. While we're doing this, in the background will be gameplay of me grinding up Kuro to level 100 in uh, Treasure Hunt. Well, not Treasure Hunt. It's uh, Survival 100. So, anywho, so it has been a hell of a year. It's been a hell of a year. It really has. So, I... I started this ch this channel up in December of last year, 2018. Um, I started off with Pokemon under the name of Gym Leader Sean, and honestly, I didn't think I was going to end up being doing this on my channel. Um, I kind of dabbled on the channel with other things. You know, my Pokemon content wasn't really getting any views. I was getting no subscribers from it. Because, honestly, it's a little too late to start with Pokemon, in my opinion, unless it's something brand new. Like, Pokemon Masters, if you started with Pokemon Masters, then you're pretty set. But anyways, um, yeah, I started with that. I dabbled with Bucci Gary Match on my channel, and honestly, for a while there, I thought my channel was going to lead up to being a Dragon Ball Z channel. Or a Dragon Ball channel in general. But, uh, it didn't go that way. It didn't go that way at all. It, I was, it ended up on this. So, hit my history with, you know, that's kind of the history of the channel. Uh, but, my history with One Piece Bounty Rush. Um, I first played it when it first released in 2018. And, I was, uh, bored one day. And I thought to myself, you know, I really wanted a One Piece game to play on my phone. And I searched it up in the Play Store and I found this. Well, not this exactly. The original One Piece Bounty Rush. And I pre-registered for it. And then, uh, <laughs> then I got to enjoy it for, you know, what it was at the time. And honestly, I did get bored of it really fast, which is unfortunate for me, so I did end up uninstalling it, and then, I don't know, I'd like, I had every intention of coming back when there was more content, but, it just, you know, I didn't, until, uh, one day I was on the YouTubes, just watching one of my favorite YouTubers, D Free, who is an amazing YouTuber, by the way. And if you're not subscribed, not heard about him, then I don't know what's wrong with you. But go go check him out. And, uh, anyways, I seen him, he played it. A brand new version of One Piece Bounty Rush. And I had to get in on that. So I downloaded it and started playing immediately. And in, uh, it was February or March. It was close to the, I think it was like two weeks after the game initially re-released that... I uploaded my first video for it so and it immediately had more more locks uh, more uh, it had more uh, interaction than any other video I had uploaded and it just kind of went from there and I'm glad it did I enjoy this game I enjoy making content for this game and making content for you guys around this game so uh, I feel at the very beginning, I was one of the more, uh, 
more better known. Yeah, I feel like I was one of the more better known and more influential uh, YouTubers that helped create the community into what it is today. Um, if I remember correctly, I was the very first one to do post commentary on my videos. And now uh, people like uh, Lee Chill and D Free, all them, a lot of people do it now. They do. And I died. And, uh, you know, I want to personally feel like I contributed to some of the aspects of how people make videos on their channels. But, um, I don't know. And that was until things went south for me and I kind of fell out of making content as regularly. And because of that, I fell under the radar and many amazing YouTubers that started off when I did you know, we well started this content up when I did, like Shinx and, uh, and Forgiven Relief, they all were able to skyrocket past me, and I per personally feel like I'm just kind of stuck, and, you know, lagging behind, but, you know, that's okay, I know one day I will catch up, and... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should even feel that way. Like, sure, I'm behind in the sub counts and everything, and I don't know. My content, like, <laughs> I need to be able to, I need to upload like Shinx does, but, you know, I got a lot of personal growth I need to work on. I, you all, <laughs> it really is hard for me to put myself out there. It really is. And that's why I'm not really that active on, uh, I don't, honestly, I'm not active on the One Piece Bounty Rush, uh, Discord. Like, I kind of lurk there. Um, I've always been a lurker. And me making my own personal channel was a big step for me. Well, personal, uh, dis yeah, Discord channel. That was a big step for me. And I let people... You know, more or less trying to open myself up more, but there have been times where I have not been that, uh, you know, not been that active on it, and I need to work on that, but, um, but yeah, the channel activity kind of went down south, uh, for a lot of reasons, some of it really was not in my control, um, for like from like April all the way till like November all this year that whole time gap there I was I was homeless you know and all by the legal definition I was homeless and that was a struggle and even then there was a lot of times that like, even with stuff like that I made sure that I was getting some content uploaded and it was like days where I had to walk, you know, three plus miles to make sure I had, you know, an internet connection so I could upload. But, you know, those times are behind me now. Those times, at the moment, those times are behind me and I hope they stay behind me. Those are the rough times in my life and, and I hope for better things for myself personally in the future and better things for... Yeah, I hope no one ever goes through that. That's you and my channel. I hope none of you ever have to go through similar things I've had to go through. Anyways, um, as of late, I've been more consistent with my uploading. Uh, it's not always back to back, you know, daily, but you know, I feel like I'm doing better. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's see, what do I want to say here, let's talk about the, yeah, let's, uh, currently, uh, what, as this is being recorded, I was at 270 subscribers, my last view, or well, last time I looked, and you guys, my goal for the December, at the end, the end of December was 260, and you all have exceeded that, and you all are amazing. You really are. Like, <laughs> you don't know what you all do for me. Like, there's been a lot of days where, you know, 
there's been days where I've read a comment that really touched my heart deeply, and it just I literally cried because you know it just made my day seeing such comments, and it's just I love I love that I love you guys and what you do for me I me mean, my channel and. <laughs> And I want to continue giving good content that y'all enjoy. And honestly, I think you personally enjoy my content for me, myself, and not really... Not the uh, obvious high-level gameplay you see on the channel. <laughs> and with the, you know, super OP characters I use. No. No, it couldn't be that. Could not be that. <laughs> but, uh, like... You know, it's uh, kind of ridiculous that uh, some of the people who watch me play, you know, watch my channel, like, uh, Invader, for example. You're a, one of the freaking, uh, top players right now, dude. It's like, the only thing, oh, I could feel like you could get out of watching this channel is straight up entertainment. Like, I have nothing of value to give to you. You're a way better player than I am. There's like, way better players than me who watch this well, this channel and are subscribed to me, and it's blows my mind. It absolutely does. Like, really, guys. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just can't. Some I can't grasp my head around it sometimes. But even though I'm a small channel, it just you know it blows my mind. And I'm hoping that I can catch up with everyone else in the near future. Uh, so. Looking to the future, uh, let's go ahead and talk about things I need to work on for this for the channel. Um, I want to one thing. My overall goal. Let's talk about that. My goal by the end of net December 2020 is to have 1,000 subs. That's my goal, and I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed doing live stream, doing a live stream. Uh, for those who weren't aware, I did do a live stream. And first, I did a little test one while I was at work, you know, just seeing if I could get the working right. And then I had an actual live stream, which kind of flopped because the software I use did not allow me to see the actual live view count, nor did it let me see. My subscribers, you see, I do everything via mobile, so I couldn't see anything other than what was on my phone. And, <laughs> and yeah, it was a mess. So what I did is I just tried to be as entertaining as possible and hope that people that were watching it enjoyed it and that people in the future who might watch it will enjoy it too. But, yeah, uh, in the future, other live streams will be much smoother, much better, and, you know, hopefully we don't have such technical difficulties again. Um, I would love to stream once a week. That's my goal. 2020 is do a live stream once a week. Um, I do plan plans for content for the channel. Um... And you gotta hand it to One Piece Bounty Rush YouTubers. The game itself has very little content in it, and a lot of guys get really creative with their content. Like, uh, for Given Relief and his Get Bounty series, which I enjoy, you get, there's always something you can take away from it. Even if you're a uh, more experienced player, there's always something you can take away from those videos of his, and I enjoy that. Um, I learned stuff from his uh, Get Bounty series all the time. But uh, there's like stuff like that. Um, I feel like I got a little creative with my Quickie series. Which, you know, it was like... You know, I was at a little a bit of a conflict there when I first did that series. Or started up. Uh, one thing, I was conflicted about the name. Because <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to call it. And I really need a better name for it. And once I get a better name, I will rename all about those videos for sure. But, um, let's see. Uh, like, I don't know. There's just not a lot of content on the game. There's 
well, survival 100, the challenge battles, um, and regular treasure hunt. And that's about it, content-wise. And, you know, we really, you know, it's like, when I have a challenge battle up, well, when there's one up, I would always, uh, just spam videos of it, trying to, uh, you know, capitalize on the, uh, the fact that it's there and it was new content and I wanted to upload as many videos of it as I could for the channel. Um, for a little while there, I started feeling like that was a bad thing to do and that it was just going to dull people. But I now view it as an opportunity for future viewers where there's not that much content on the channel. Um, I could really just space it out. I really could. I could like record three or four treasure, uh, oh, uh, well, challenge battle videos and just, uh, upload them once a week or something like that. I could do that. I did the alternating route. Uh, I could do it once a week kind of thing. But then I feel like, you know, once the challenge battle is over, it's old news, you know? But, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just stick to what I do. And do like, you know, depending on how the length of it. And just do like a, uh, you know, three to five videos of it. So, there's that. So when there's a challenge battle or a ton of treasure or something like that, there's going to be three to five videos. Uh, I don't know, it just depends on how long it's stays uh active um so it's gonna be that live stream every week and a survival 100 at least one every week i'm thinking one every week and we got the new tr cruise battles coming in the future which honestly i want to hope that it would be a permanent game mode on here that you can do at any time, and not just being another challenge battle event, but we all know how that's going to go. So, when it happens, I will have uh, content of it, and I have a new playlist of it and everything, but I feel like that event will be just like as every other challenge video want a battle uh, event, and it only lasts for a few days, and then it'll be done. Um... Other than that, I'm going to do Treasure Hunt 5 different. You know, Shinx inspired that, honestly. I won't lie. I won't lie. Shinx is my inspiration for that. Uh, it's all about me grinding up to the top. So, I'm trying to grind out to be in the top players. Uh, so, it's. I don't want to call it Road to Rank because that is a series name that is used a lot. Uh, I cannot think of a more creative name at the moment. So, for the now, now the time being, a uh, the uh, the uh, filler name is Road to Ranked for this. And what it is is going to be me uploading once a week of uh, once or twice a week. I don't know, maybe three. See, I don't want to do it too many times because it's going to be the exact same team I'm going to be using to just rank up to, uh, try to use to rank up to, uh, top tier, or as high up as I can get, you know, and I don't want it to be, uh, I don't know, I don't want it to be stale, you know, so I'm think because if you're using the same team over and over again, it's going to get stale for the viewers, so... And it's just a big grind fest for me. So it's going to be like, uh, I just upload maybe one treasure hunt to five video a week, maybe two. I don't know, depending on how I feel. Y'all let me know what you think about that. Um, other than that, uh, there's going to be other content on the channel as well. Um, I'm not sure about doing regular One Piece content anymore uh, that's other than this game because I'm afraid of the algorithm being messed up from that, so, I don't know, like, in January, 
there might, you know, I might do a different type of content once a month. In January, I already plan on doing a Garchomp, uh, well, Cynthia and Garchomp summons on Pokemon Masters, along with the Soga Leo, uh, event that's coming up, because I'm excited about that. So that's going to be some content that's not One Piece Bounty Rush related that you'll see on the channel next month. Oh, and yeah, it's just going to be stuff like that. Ah, but uh, ah, uh, I don't know what I'm saying now. Like, I don't know what more to say. Uh, another goal, other goals for me personal ones is being more active on Discord, not just in my personal channel, but in the actual One Piece Bounty Rush channel. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And just personal growth after my channel. So, goals in a nutshell, it's going to be four or five uploads a week. I don't know if that's going to include the uh, weekly live stream, which I want to do or not. Um, the whole quote unquote road to rank series that I'm going to do and stuff like that. So, I, uh, yeah. I look forward to it. Uh, none of this stuff. Is gonna take effect until, uh, until the end of the season, which is gonna be on the uh, eighth. So on the ninth is when the new World to Rank series is gonna start. Uh, okay, so the upload schedule will be kind of like a uh, live stream. Well, it's gonna be one live stream a week, one quote unquote Road to Rank, one quickie, one. No, not Treasure Hunt 5. Uh, one, uh, Survival 100. Um, uh, and challenge videos when they are available. When they're available, then it's, they're going to be priority over everything else. And, yeah. Um, I do want to get to a point financially where I can do summon videos regularly, like, I would love to do a scout video once a month, for sure. Uh, I'll get to there at one point. At some point, I'm going to get there. But, I don't know. I think I've said all everything I need to say in this video already. It was quite long compared to my other videos. So, if you made it this far, shout out to you. You are amazing, and thank you for watching this. I look forward to 2020 and being there with you guys. And... I hope to increase our family even further. So again, thank you all for watching. I'm going to be in my Discord channel. And I will be, you know, conversing with people in there. And see, you know, throwing thoughts around and getting feedback from them. So, and if you want to be a part of that, I'll leave a dis uh, link in the, in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video.